I okay, can imagine. I mean, one of the things I wanted to talk to was about was your f- in getting into the Forbes list. Forbes yes. 30 under 30. I mean, <laughs> if I talk about achievements. I mean, how, that, how did that come about? And how did that, that uh, must be incredible. No idea. The, the genuine legitimate story is I was lying in bed and I just went on. I saw the list was published and I was genuinely like, oh, I wonder who's on it. And was just flicking through and then my face like shot up. Um, so I then rang my sister, I think at like one in the morning, like screaming down the phone, at her, who then told me to very politely go away uh, yeah. and not to wake her up. <laughs> but it was, um, honestly, it was such a surreal thing of like your own face coming up. And I think I was next to Ruby from Bake Off at the time or something. Mm. Um, and yeah, it was mad. And on the same list was like Rita Ora and Paul Pogba. Yeah, and say. And uh, Anthony Joshua was on there. And it was just it was so, so, it's still weird. I still find it weird to talk about. That and again, incredible. sort of at the time, like running like sort of bedroom business type thing. It was just surreal. That is surreal. I mean, to be entered into the top third, like 30, 30 under 30 from Forbes with those kinds of people, that's what an incredible feeling that it must be for you. Totally. Like it genuinely, it still feels so surreal. So that was 2018 that happened. 18, so we're yeah. coming up to two and a half, almost three years when it comes back in January. And yeah, it's, it still hasn't become like not an exciting buzz or something. Oh, okay. is, it, is it a yearly thing or is it every... Th- yeah, it's, yeah, it's yearly. So I think it's around January it comes out. I know it changes slightly, but um, I know that's it's a procedure I'm going through at the moment. But it's, yeah, both loose yeah. 